Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG by Full Grown Gaming. And in this episode, or like I said in the last episode, we're going to make our way to the Kiro Sewers. But first, we're going to talk to this guy. Because the whole point of the Croco fight was to get that coin, that frog coin back. And in exchange, he this guy gives Mallow the... Cricket Pie. Which we got to give back to Frog Fuchsius, which obviously is a take on the name Confucius. I almost forgot there, that would have been embarrassing. But I think we've pretty much wrapped up... Pretty much, I think we've wrapped up everything there is to do in Mushroom Kingdom. I'm gonna go ahead and stock up some items real quick, though. He kind of reminds me of Squidward. Look at that. I hate to admit it, but I love this job. I don't know, a little Mario or uh, SpongeBob reference there. Let's buy a couple of those. Antidote pin. I don't really think we need any of those, so let's go ahead and move on here. So now I think we have officially finished everything that we need, every important thing so far in Mushroom Kingdom. We'll come back eventually. But here is the entrance to Kiro Sewers, and Mal is going to pop out here and tell us that this is the entrance, no, you know, whatever. Grandpa says to watch out for Balome, or Balome, or however you want to say that. That is the boss of this dungeon. We will fight, probably in this episode. And, up oh, save spot, let's go ahead and get that real quick. And you see that one little star popped up there? Obviously in the last episode we got a star, so now it keeps track of our stars for us. And that note you see right there, which I will get to now, this note tells you how to enter a pipe. And we just, we had to go down a pipe to get to this note, so why wouldn't they put the note before that first pipe? I don't know. Not a big deal. Just a little weird thing. I'm gonna go ahead and fight one of these. I'm pretty sure they're called gobies in this game. But they remind me of cheap cheeps, and I don't know what the difference is between them, or if there is a difference, or... Just, I don't know, it's a little thing I just thought of. Cheap Cheeps are what I remember those type of enemies. There's probably like one little difference I forgot about, I don't know. So that's, uh, the Gobies. Pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get out of the water here and go in this pipe. This is kind of like a, a, not really a maze, but it's kind of hard to figure out where to go sometimes. So I'm going to go down here and go in this pipe. Because at the end of this hallway over here, there is a little mini boss fight. And this chest right here, it's called the Pandora, obviously a reference to Pandora's box, look, or a Pandorite, my bad. Same exact thing, whatever. So go ahead and use uh, jump attacks, because look how much damage that does. And don't use uh, Mallow's Thunderbolt or Mario's Fire attack on this guy, because they don't do any damage. And Mallow's attacks really don't do all that much damage, as you probably know, so might as well just leave him in defense. Just in case something happens to Mario, we can revive him or heal him or whatever. So just, it should take a couple of hits from Mario. Oh, scream. I don't remember that. It's probably gonna scare him. I think that's, uh, what that- Yep, see, now he can't even use, uh, special attacks. So, whatever. So now he's absolutely useless. I hope he uses this on Mallow. It's not really a big deal if he does it, though. Oh, Mario. Oh. That reminds me of a concept in, of uh, full-grown gaming known as- And we might have mentioned this before, but I thought this would be a good time to reintroduce it after I just saw that happen. If you want something to happen, it will not happen. Like, just for instance, the reason it came about, um, we were playing Call of Duty one time. Oop, I'm gonna put that on Mallow. Oop, Mallow, there we go. And I was on like a 22 kill streak or something. And my highest I'd ever gotten was like 23. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna beat my kill streak. And Joe, oh, I didn't mean to fight that guy. Or, it's not a big deal though. Um, Joe's like, well, you said you wanted it, now it's not gonna happen. My mom walked in the room, started talking to me, blocked the screen, I died. So that is where the idea of whatever you ask for, whatever you want, it's not gonna happen. But there is a cure for that. If you say, um, if you instantly reverse it and say, I, you know, I don't want that to happen, or that would be, I'm trying to think of a concrete example. If you, just in the case of the kill streak, if I had said, um, I don't want a kill streak, or I'm gonna get killed now, or something like that, that instantly reverses karma and you get what you want. So, little full grown, uh, thing there. The thing about full grown gaming is we, uh, we always have some other concept, like a concept or a word to describe everything we think of, really. So what's this, a flower? Alright. And I think we mentioned it before, we can talk about stuff at school and people have no idea what we're talking about. Pretty sure this has, uh, f uh coins in it. Yep. But, th it's like, I don't know, it's just a, a function of being, like, talking a lot and 
I don't know, things happen, we make connections, it's a little inside jokes, inside stories we're sharing with you guys, so we're making you guys part of the full-grown culture here. Well, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, I went back to the beginning. Didn't mean to do that. I'm pretty sure we gotta go. See, this is kind of like a, a maze, like I said. I'm trying to remember where to go. Uh, I don't remember where that goes, but I do- Oh! Didn't mean to fight him. I don't think I've fought him yet, have I? He does a little tail snap attack, which is kind of funny, honestly. And sometimes they run away, the rat funks. Which is a- why would they call it that? A rat funk. Uh, whatever. So the hobgoblins have really low defense, if I remember. Regardless, I'm gonna use my thunderbolt and hopefully take him out in one shot. And only got one of them. It's alright. Dark Claw, I don't remember that. Oh, Poison. Alright. Poison's not really a big deal in this game. It only takes a bit away a little bit of HP, and I'm pretty sure it goes away after the fight. Yeah, Blog is already gone. But we got a Pure Water, which... What does that even do? I forgot. I'm gonna check that out real quick. Oh, Pure Water there. Oh, it's a... F yeah. Oh, I never used the Flower Jar, by the way. Uh, the Pure Water apparently defeats, g defeats ghosts in a wink. What I remember using it for is, um... There's enemies called Zombones, I think they're called, and it takes them out in one shot. So this takes out the, or drains the water. And what does this do? I don't even remember. Let's see where this goes. Did this really just put me out at the beginning again? Great. It's not really a big deal, but I'd rather not, not have happened. So let's go back down. I'm gonna skip that save spot against my better uh, intuition there. Have, uh, have a feeling something bad's gonna happen. Let me fight the boss, even though he's pretty easy. You don't get a swoop. Well, I was gonna say you don't get a star, but I guess you guys probably knew that. Let's jump over him. Oh, but it looks like I gotta drain the water again, yeah. Apparently if you go outside and come back in, the water's back, or whatever. So let's, uh, go back down here. Now we can run through here. I'm pretty sure I got pretty, like, everything I needed to get. So we're gonna go ahead and fight below me. What is this? Or below or however you want to say it. So that was a mushroom. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. It's a good thing there's another save spot. Now that chest up here, we can't get... Ooh, well, I keep fighting stuff, I don't mean to. Maybe we can try out that pure water. Where's that? There. Let's see. Instantly dead. He got beans. Alright, so uh... I don't really ever use those anyway, so I don't really feel too bad about uh, wasting it. Go ahead and take out the shadow. I don't know if it would have worked on the shadow. Never tried it. I really, I don't even remember using those when I played through it a long time ago, so they're not really that useful. But, like I was saying, that chest up there we can't get until much later in the game. I'm pretty sure we have to get to Land's End before we get there. Or before we can go up there, so. So this is the, uh, really, really the second boss in the game. Third if you count Croco, fourth if you count Bowser. And he's a pretty weird boss. It's a, He turns people into scarecrows and stuff. He's weak to, um, thunder. So go ahead and use that as much as you can. And he, like I said, he turns people into scarecrows. And that true form pin we got from fighting... Uh-oh. I think he's gonna eat somebody. Yep. Oh, I thought... Well, he doesn't attack where he eats somebody. He'll do that in a minute, I guess. But that true form pin we got from the Pandorite before keeps one member of the party from being turned into a scarecrow. And so that's really useful. We'll see what being uh, turned into a scarecrow does in a minute. Because I'm pretty sure he's probably going to eat Mallow and uh, turn Mario into a scarecrow. That's what happens every time I use this setup. Unless I beat him. Okay. Stick for a body. Yep, he's going to turn somebody into a scarecrow. If he uses it on Mallow, it shouldn't work. Oh, but of course he's going to use it on Mario. Actually a smart boss, I guess. That's a cool particle effect there. Alright, so now Mal or Mario is a, a scarecrow, and he can't use attacks or items. All he can do is defend or use the uh, these attacks right here, the special attacks. So I might as well go ahead and use the special attack, because I don't really, I don't want to waste time and defend. I want to get as much damage as possible before he takes Mallow, if he does. Yep, he's going to take Mallow. Can't stand it, the hunger. That's kind of creepy if you think about it. So, let's see, I have enough FP for one more attack, and then I'll use a honey mu uh, honey mushroom, a honey syrup. Alright. So the- oh crap, I can't use it, I forgot. Well, this is uh, oh man, what did I get myself into here? Okay, good. I'm pretty sure that lasts for like three turns or something. Oop, don't want to use a mushroom. Uh, honey syrup, there we go. I'm pretty sure that scarecrow thing lasts for like three turns, so... If it had lasted longer than that, I probably would have died and... Had to restart the episode, but 
Alright, if we uh, do a little bit of damage there, Mallow's- I was gonna say he's gonna spit Mallow out, and then make it uh, really easy to b finish this fight. Alright. There goes- that should be it, right? Yep, that's it. If you beat me, you still- or what do you say, if you defeat me, you still won't beat me? That doesn't even make sense. But he says, uh, beware of the flood. The first slot I just had was, a uh, Halo. I guess that's the- the downfall of being a modern gamer and a, uh, you know. But, uh, Mallow reaches level 6. The Psychopath attack. We'll uh, have to showcase that in a minute. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and use... This on... Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and use a special attack and special defense. But this is one of the funniest, like, sequences in this game. Because, we'll see in a second. Do you hear something? No, I don't hear the water rushing out. And look, they start running around. He's like jumping on the switch. Mario's like, I don't even know what he's doing. But, you know, they leave. With the tide. And now we have to fall all the way down this water. I don't even. Is this a waterfall or a river? That's obviously a waterfall. I guess. I don't know. But it's really a mini game. Well, it says Midas River, so I guess it's a river. I don't know. The, the perspective, though, looks like a waterfall. But anyway, there's a whole lot of coins and stuff on this, uh. This river. I'm not really gonna spend a lot of time getting coins and stuff, because it's not really. Really all that worth it. Because coins and frog coins are pretty easy to come by. Even frog coins, yes, I know. Some people are like, no, Kyle, they're really hard to get, but you can get uh, plenty of them later. Might as well get as many as you can, though. And if you hit those little, like, round things, I'll get one in a minute. You go into, like, a little cutscene kind of thing. Oh, I might as well go ahead and get the frog coin while I'm here, even though I just said they're easy to come by. Alright. Let's see. I guess I'm not going to get another one of those, but it's not really a big deal. Now we're on the barrel rolling portion of this uh, mini game. No thanks. All right, so you might you just gotta jump, and if you let the barrel hit the barrel in front of you, you'll switch past like so. And there should be fish coming up in a second. I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess not. There's a guy. Don't make me a liar, game, please. Come. On. I'm pretty. There's fish. I swear they jump up at you. And if they hit you, you lose coins. I guess I'm just going crazy. Could have sworn I remembered, like, little fish that take your coins. Oh, there! Thank you! <laughs> oh, man, I thought I was absolutely going crazy. But, after this, we will be getting to Tadpole Pond, so stick in there and... We'll get there eventually. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. You're not taking my coins either, fish. And, looks like there's more coins on the right side. Mario's left side, so I guess we'll stay over here. As I say that, Full Grown Gaming, uh, Karma. They stopped giving me coins on this side. Look. Oh, okay, good. We c How long is this thing? I oh, see, you took my coins. But I guess this is kind of like a, a... A breather after that kind of boss fight. You know, they give you a mini game just to make up for it. Oh, I landed on his head. So I got 55 coins from that. Not bad. You can trade some coins for the... Uh, well, I didn't get enough for a uh, frog coin, but it's not really a big deal. So he'll give me the... Knock Knock Shell, and I always thought that was a weird name for that with the weapon, but he, it's a, a shortened version of the Japanese name, which I can't remember, obviously, because I don't speak Japanese. So I'm going to go ahead and save, and I guess I'll jump on that trampoline to see what happens, because I don't remember. Let's go up here. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I don't want to do that again. Uh, no, I don't want to try it again. Thank you, I'll just be on my way. Now, we should be getting to Tadpole Pond. Yep, here's Tadpole Pond. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end, end the episode here, guys. We made it to Tadpole Pond. I'm sorry, uh, I wanted to actually do some stuff in Tadpole Pond, but I completely forgot about that mini game, which took, I don't know, a good couple minutes. So, thank you for watching episode 5. I will see you next time in episode 6.